This video shows implantation of a new model of the Technus Multifocal. It's, this implant is called the uh, Technus Multifocal 1. It differs from the standard Technus Multifocal in that it is a one-piece intraocular lens. It has soft haptics which help to facilitate adjustment of the optic to the patient's visual axis. In addition, there's no uh, matte finish to the posterior surface and you can easily insert this through a 2.2 to 2.4 millimeter uh, wound. You'll find it has a double square edge to help uh, inhibit uh, PCO migration and the optic is uh, offset from the haptics to help uh, facilitate uh, centration uh, with the visual axis as well as to uh, keep the eye well uh, centered. This lens is not intended uh, for sulcus fixation. I based uh, my initial A constant uh, on the last 100 uh, Technus 1 lenses. The constant that I uh, used was 119.13. Um, I had a standard deviation of 0.45 diopters uh, for those 100 lenses uh, and I ended up with uh, one day post-op uh, vision appearing that the A constant was perfect. The one day uh, uncorrected distance acuity was uh, 2020. Intermediate was measured uh, by ruler at 60 centimeters and found to be 2016 uh, monocularly. In addition, the patient's uh, near vision uh, was a J1+. Plus. Uh, this patient had received a regular Texas multifocal in the contralateral eye and I asked him if there were uh, any differences between this and the uh, other lens. His initial um, uh, comment was that uh, this eye had been very uh, comfortable from the uh, very onset with no uh, feeling of scratchiness. This may be due to a smaller incision. At the end you'll see that I focused on the uh, uh, rings and at the very end I'll ask the uh, patient to uh, fixate uh, carefully on the uh, microscope uh, filaments uh, which will show this lens is perfectly centered. And there you have it.